what's up guys this is I Mag Reactions and today I've got another tutorial and it literally is another tutorial because I just did this whole thing and it turned out Camtasia Studio wasn't even recording my audio here I didn't even have it on which is which was kind of annoying so I have to redo it but yeah anyway so um, what it is is basically going to be two tutorials in one um, I'll show you part one basically it's going to be how to make letters fly in like in this intro here not that bit as you can see here let us fly in. Um, looks quite nice. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make it look nice in After Effects and Cinema 4D. So first, we'll just start off with the basic animation. So I've got my basic scene set up in Cinema 4D. Project settings 1280 by 720. Um, open that. Um, normal settings for. Um, oh, sorry about this. Computer is lagging up for some reason. <coughs> Yeah, so um, that's our normal project settings. Then you want to go to MoGraph, or text, and have your text inserted. And just change the depth to about 80. Change the alignment to middle. And we'll just type in reactions as our text. Um, change the font to something which you like. So I'll just use Batman Forever today. That's what I used there. And we'll just change the angle down a bit. And we'll add some caps. And some more. Just put the height down so it fits in our screen. Oh shit! What happened there? Yeah, so that fits in our screen. Now what you want to do is um, you want to make sure your text is selected, and then go to MoGraph Effector Plane. If you have um, Cinema 4D 11.5, you go to MoGraph, and then Plane Effect will be somewhere down here. So you want to go to Plane, and then you want to go to Fall Off and change the shape to Box. Now what you want to do is um, this will allow you to change the shape of it and you'll see these little orange things some of you might not have it because you might have the wrong tool selected like it might be like that so you can't have it so what you want to do is make sure that um, this is selected little arrow with the triangle that's um, the right tool for just basic things you want to do in Cinema 4D yeah so what you want to do is you want to move um, the box so all the letters are, are going up so that in a straight line so if that means moving it quite wide then do so um, yeah, maybe move it up a bit. Oh, I think I should make it a bit wider. So make it really wide so that that's what she said. Um, make it really wide so that they're, they're all straight, like so. And you also want to go to um, here on under the plane effect tab, click on parameter, and t check rotation, and just change it something which you think suitable. Something you like. I'll just do fourteen. Just like, it's a little add personal preference, honestly. Just what you think looks good. And you're going to put the Y down to about minus 100. So that will bring it down. Change the Z axis to minus 1000. So that's out of our screen. So now what you want to do is you want to click on plane. And then press the keyframe button. Then drag along to where you want the letters to finish flying in. So I'll go up to about 40. And drag the box along. You, you don't have to keyframe these. Just drag the actual box along, and you'll see that as we drag it along, the letters start to fly. So drag it all the way until the last letters actually finish flying in, <coughs> and press the keyframe button. Now, as you'll see, if we play it through, that our letters fly in. So um, if you want to get rid of the plane effector because you don't want to see it, just double click here. There's two little dots. And double click it so it goes red, and that will make it um, uneditable in our. Unvis um, not visible in our editor so now it's not there so you can just see your letters so um, that's the first um, that's the cinema 4d part of the tutorial done um, I'll just go into the after effects bit now if you haven't yeah so basically once you've got your um, file imported for the letters fly in as you can see I've got the Caesar sports one which I use there um, you want to just drag along to where the um, Letters start to fly in, so here it's where the C starts of Caesar. So that's about here by the looks of it, yeah. So find where it, if you want to get it precise, use this one frame button that will take you along one frame. And then click on the file, press P, <coughs> and that will bring up position, and then press the little clock that will add a keyframe. And now drag along to where the letters stop flying in, so that's here by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm just doing it roughly for tutorial purposes. And click on this little diamond here, that will add another keyframe. Now you can see we've got two keyframes. 
so now you want to um, add the shake to the screen as it does in here so if you look if you see here it has a little shake on the screen like so so it looks quite nice <coughs> so to do this we're going to need the wiggler so if you don't have this you need to go to window and make sure wiggler is checked and you'll be okay so next you want to uh, make sure your two keyframes are visible click on the first one and hold shift and click on the other one what that's going to do is select both of them and make them available to our wiggler so you want to make sure this is spatial path smooth all, all independently and put these both 15 or it doesn't really matter Free, uh, magnitude is basically how much you want to shake 15 I, I seem to find is okay for me but if you want to put it higher or lower it's down to you yeah and once you've done that press apply now if you just um, play that through where the letters fly in you can see it looks quite nice there so yeah that's the first part of our tutorial done and um, the second part is uh, about an intro which I uploaded today recently actually it's um, basically here I'll show you <coughs> there as you can see um, where that little light goes across the text there if you didn't see I'll show you again there you go yep so um, I'm gonna show you how to do that so um, what you want to do um, you'll need like cycle FX plugins for this uh, that's like the CC plugins um, um, I don't know if they're downloadable if you have to buy them but they c usually come with most people's After Effects um, if not you know just maybe google it where to get it from and uh, download it so what you want to do is you want to click on your thing go to effect <coughs> generate and CC light sweep as you can see now we've already got this little light going over it so you just want to drag it off so it's not on our text at all and then just find um, find where you want the light to start from so, and then press the little clock next to center that will add a keyframe and then when you want it to um, finish once it's gone across so here we want it to go about here now it looks fully off and now if we play it through you can see now that it has a little shine effect as you can see like it does in that intro here you can mess around with the setting so you can change the color so I wanted to change it to like a nice yellow um, I could do that it's all down to personal preference to be honest like before um, you can change the width and stuff if you want to be really fat or really thin it's up to you hey guys that sums up the tutorial for today um, if you if this helps you don't forget to like and comment on the video also subscribe help me get to 1k because when I do I'll be releasing a huge GFX pack with loads of stuff with a lot of stuff that a lot of peop other people haven't really um, had in theirs before and a lot of other things besides GFX pack at 1k so get subbing and also um, if you guys want a tutorial request it in um, comments of this one and I'll try my best to <coughs> to do it and also um, I might start a new series um, like where I recreate things so if there's an intro you've seen on YouTube and you want to have to do certain aspects of the intro maybe send it in a PM or comment and I'll try my best to try and recreate it and make a tutorial sort of thing for you guys so yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and comment peace